how to use some silk on wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight in. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. I am wanting to show you guys these silk off wraps. I personally love silk off wraps. I feel like they are such a game changer in the industry. I do feel like I don't have a big old mess to clean, which is great. I love that. But there are going to be different ones that we are going to be showing you. Starting from the left, it is Amazon. This one retails for $12.99, so technically $13. The middle one, you cannot get them on Amazon, so unless you have a business um, Amazon thing, then you're able to purchase them. But these ones are the most expensive when I had bought all of these. The BT Art Box, they are usually around $18, almost $19. So, but BT Art Box, it does include a scraper tool, so when you are removing the product. The difference between all of these is definitely price point, but the durability of the foil and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that. So with Amazon, you are going to get a pretty standard foil and the cotton pad, it is kind of small. So definitely you are going to have to clip the nails down. If you like to leave your natural nails super, super long, they might end up passing this cotton swab so you might not like these if you are trying to keep the length of your natural nail and it is very long i don't think you would like any of these personally um opi it does come on this like toilet paper roll type of deal um it's great for if you're a home person that likes to do your nails and you just like to do them at home it has e easy storage and things like that but me personally I don't like having to rip them off just because I feel like it wastes a lot of time for me and sometimes they rip off crooked and things like that and I end up wasting some. The BT Art Box, the foil, is the thinnest out of all of them and I don't know, I personally think that because the foil is so thin it doesn't keep in a lot of the heat and so it doesn't allow it to soak off as fast. Um, so honestly, the BT Art Box, the one great thing about it is that I don't know, it comes with a pretty large, or it comes with a great tool inside, so I love it for the tool. So if you guys are wanting to try these and maybe get the tool, definitely maybe this might be the thing for you. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I soak off my nails. I am going to be using all three of these um, so you're able to see. The bit that I am using is a 5-in-1 bit. I use this for all of my soak offs. I personally love it because I'm able to get close to the cuticle if needed. Um, and I just feel like, I don't know, it soaks it off pretty fast, or it allows me to thin it out pretty fast. So when I am soaking, I'm going to go ahead and get this 5-in-1 bit, and I kind of use the whole barrel. It just depends on what parts are being a little bit more stubborn for me. So, and I use it on a pretty high speed. If you guys are not familiar with the, with the drill, you are able to use a hand file, and the hand file, they will work great. But you really want to make sure that you are going in and checking every so often, making sure that you're not filing all the way down to your natural nail, especially if you have very rounded nails um i'm not meaning like the tips but like if you have like that perfect c curve like if you were to look at the tip of your nail um like to see if there was under anything underneath it if you were to see like a perfect c that means you have like a really nice c curve and a lot of times what i notice with people that have nails like that they tend to over file their nails a lot and the reason being is because it seems like they're not getting enough product off, but in reality, the center of their nail, they're getting so much product off and they're trying to get towards the sides and sometimes they don't have the file angled enough. So just be careful for that. If you're seeing your natural nail, do not file anymore. Um, because chances are you are going to be going through the product and things like that. So as thin as you're able to get it um just making sure that you take off the top coat a lot of top coats they aren't soak off top coats and even if they are i do find it's actually hard to break through them so i feel like with me i definitely try to get as much as i can off so on um, these nails i do have a base coat i do have 
the polish that I have on there. And then after I also have this silver design on there. So I am going down to the silver design to make sure that I am not going past that. Anything past that um, is chances are it might be I got down to the base coat, but I definitely try not to go anything further than that. So that is why if you guys have like a pretty thick base coat, it's great because you are able to get down there and not get a ton or like get your natural nail because you don't want that. You don't want any filing marks or things like that because it causes weak little areas in your nails. And sometimes when I am working on the nails, I will kind of start from side to side and then eventually go up and down. Some areas might be, need more than others. Um, but yeah, so this, I don't know if I talked about the drill bit, but I do want to touch base on that. Is certain parts, when you are using this 5-in-1 drill bit, more towards the tip of it, it is going to be more of a finer. And then as you're going up the barrel, that is going to be more of a coarse bit. So just keep that in mind while you are using that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the ones that I need. And I am going to be using two of the Amazon and two of the OPI and one of the BT Art Box. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on my hands. When you are doing silk offs, you're going to really want to make sure that you secure these properly. So you're going to put the foil around. I like to let the acetone really get absorbed into these foils because sometimes if you just wet the surface, a lot of times it will go more into the cotton than on your nail. So I am just squeezing them on there, making sure they are not going anywhere. These are actually super easy to adhere or like to apply to your nails. The, the one that has the thickest foil is definitely the OPI. So if you need something that is really going to hold on while you are doing things, OPI. But again, you could also put a glove on top of these and to hold them in place and that will make it easier for you. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on for 10 minutes or for this video I did actually end up going 15. Normally when I do do soak offs I do go for more of the 11 minute mark or 10 minute mark depending on if I forget to put on the timer I'll just go ahead and do for 10 minutes just because sometimes I get to talking right after I work on clients and I forget to put it so I'll go ahead and tell Alexa to put it on. Um, sometimes I, I do forget so I will like kind of do it to that but whenever I put the timer it's always for 10 to 11 minutes. Alright time is up now I'm going to go ahead and get my little tool. This is not the one that comes with the BT Art Box. Um, the BT Art Box I do like how it does have a bigger cotton pad just in case you do want to do the toes but for me since I don't do toes it's not really that necessary for me but you guys could see that this one soaked off pretty well. I feel like all of them are pretty standard. My favorite ones out of all of them are definitely the OPI. I love how they stay on the hands. I don't really end up having to touch up my client's nails or like re-put the foils on. Um, price point of them, I am not a huge fan of them. I honestly, I kind of am disappointed about how expensive that they are, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I know price of everything has gone up, but I do feel like for something that you are just going to be throwing in the trash, I don't feel... The need or want to kind of spend so much money so in btr box i do feel like sometimes with them i don't feel like it always saturates the nail as much as i want it to so i do end up tending to go to the amazon ones um right here i don't think i had actually filed my top coat away enough but you guys Normally, I really enjoy the Amazon ones and the price point of them. I feel like personally is great. I don't have a problem with it. Every time I've used these, I feel like I'm always happy. So, you guys, if you guys do want to get the OPI ones, if you guys are soaking off at home, I definitely recommend trying those ones out, but definitely don't be afraid of the Amazon ones because I know the Amazon ones are a little bit cheaper, but they get the job done and you don't end up having to scrub the box or anything like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put cuticle oil on you guys and this is pretty much it. That's how I do a soak off. Um, if I do do it on a client, I will include kind of like a dry manicure and put cuticle oil on, cut their cuticles if needed and make their nails look really nice even though they are not going to be having acrylics on. So you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know, have you guys ever tried these? Do you like these? Or what's your favorite method of soaking off? Alright you guys, have a great day and a great weekend. And bye-bye.